Hi guys! Let's discuss the big elephant in the room before we get started on this video. Yes, my hair is a mess, but if I'm being honest with you, it is super, super hot where we live and I just don't feel like dealing with doing my hair. The light is going in and out because we're dealing with a bunch of storms, but second point that I wanted to discuss before we jump into this is that it has been a hot, hot topic lately in my comment sections of my videos. Um, I have never made it a secret that I am a Beachbody coach, ever. In fact, I have been so open about it, it's almost obnoxious. I am such an open book, I have nothing to hide. So, if you are looking for a review from somebody who has no affiliation with Beachbody whatsoever, do yourself a favor, do a quick Google search. I'm sure you can find plenty of people that aren't affiliated, or you might be finding people that are telling you that they're not affiliated and they're lying to you. So. I take it or leave it, that's okay with me. So today, I am doing a size breakdown video. Now, I do this with every single video I do, every single program I do. If you would like kind of a full point by point detailed breakdown, go to my website, I will link it down below. That post there will have kind of everything, like what I think about trainers, what I think about the music, about the program just in general. Whereas this is kind of just sitting down talking to you guys about things that randomly pop up in my head without even thinking about it, what I think of this, what I think of this program. Um, so let me give you a little bit of backstory. When size first came out, I was gonna do it because I adore Shanti and it's a Shanti workout. And then I did the preview on Beach Bunny on Demand and I wasn't a fan. I didn't really like it. I was kind of bored by it. I just had kind of decided against it. And then I went to Summit in Nashville and all of my team of coaches and all the other Beachbody coaches were purchasing it and to be honest with you, I felt kind of left out. So I went and I got it. When I came home from Summit, I figured, you know, this might be a way to kind of get back into a routine. I just wasn't working out, I wasn't doing anything, so I decided to do it as just a fun, no pressure way of jumping back into a routine. Normally when I do Beachbody programs, I do it to the best of my ability for the most part. I try to eat clean, I try to really push myself during the workouts because I want people to see like what can happen if you do it the way it was intended to do it. Now I'm never perfect, but I do it I do it pretty well with a lot of intensity. And this one, I just wanted to be relaxed, have fun with it. This workout does not feel like a workout. There are workouts I love and that I've enjoyed, like Insanity Max 30, I'm obsessed with it but it still felt like a workout. So with size, I didn't feel like I was working out, so it wasn't as hard to jump back into a routine because every day I knew that I was gonna be pushing play and I was gonna be having fun with it. So it really was a lot of fun. There's six routines plus an ab video for each, each um, like break each month, or not each month, each week. So I, really 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 enjoyed probably I'd say four of the routines one of them was okay I didn't mind it and then one of them I hated the great thing about Shanti is he has a background in professional dance he danced for Mariah Carey so he is really really good at teaching you how to do a dance even when you are horrible at dancing. I was a cheerleader from the time I was probably like seven until the time I was in high school and I was a really good cheerleader but I was horrible at choreography. It took me a really, really long time to pick routines up but once I picked the routine up, I was golden. So with this, he breaks it down step by step by step. So he'll teach you one step and he'll make you repeat that step five times and then he will teach you a second step and add, or he'll make you repeat that five times and then he'll add it on to the first step. So he'll make you go back to the beginning and go through the first and second step and that's how it works. He keeps adding on steps. Now, that being said, you're probably wondering, okay, can someone who has no dance background or no dance experience or someone who can't dance, can they do this program? And I could take that a few different ways. I'm gonna try to break it down and be as honest as possible with you guys. Could a person who has never danced or who is not talented with dancing do this program? Yes, I think it is a great way for somebody who, you know, wants a low impact workout, wants to have fun. I think it's a great program for that. I think anybody who is an advanced athlete can do it. Um, you kind of have to set your mindset. Do I just kind of want to shuffle through the steps or do I want to nail it? Do I want to, you know, squat lower and slide further and really push myself and get a good workout? 
you have to do it to the best of your ability to get the best result. I am not a dancer, like I said, I have no experience with dance other than in cheerleading, and I did it, I enjoyed it. Now, if you are somebody who I'm talking has zero rhythm, like you can't keep a beat to save your life, you can't even clap when everybody else is clapping, you trip over your own feet when you even attempt to dance, it's not gonna be the program for you most likely because it is a dance program. Even though it is broken down in a way that is great for beginners, you still have to somewhat have a little bit of coordination or a little bit of rhythm, or it might be really difficult for you. However, you can probably do a search online. I have seen people of all kinds doing this program, so that's gonna be kind of up to you to decide, but what I will say is you will never know until you try. I went into two of these routines, two of the hardest routines, the final routines in the program, and both nights on when I first did the, the routine, I just felt defeated. Like, I literally <laughs> sat my butt on the couch got on my accountability group, which is, you know, they're the groups that I um, host every month, and I told my challengers, I said, guys, I don't think this is happening. I cannot pick this up for the life of me. I shared it on my Facebook like page. I even shared a clip of me attempting to do one of the dances and hitting maybe two of the steps, like maybe hitting two of the steps. It was so bad. I felt so defeated. I'm like, there is no way that I'm going to get this routine down. And then I decided the next day to change my mindset and go into it wanting to have fun and just doing the best that I can. And I ended up picking up the routines those days. So if you are not somebody who can kind of come back from that frustration, if you are somebody who gives up easily or just will keep telling yourself there's no way I can do it, it's going to be really difficult for you to pick up because it is a dance, it is a routine. So bottom line, I mean those are the most important things I think to cover. I didn't use the nutrition guide so I can't really speak on that but I've heard it's great and it works in correlation with the 21 day fix. So if you have the 21 day fix containers, you can eat the nutrition guide that comes with size. Um, you can do it without the 21 day fix containers but that's just an added bonus. So I overall, it's a four week program so it's really short. I had a lot of fun, I really enjoyed it. Would I do it again? I don't know. I would probably do it with other people. I would probably pop it in from time to time, but I, I don't think I would do the whole program from beginning to end again, but I did really enjoy it. It's just I kind of missed my intense workouts, my jumping higher, my squatting lower. Like I just missed the high impact, high intensity workouts. So this was an amazing, an amazing program for where I was at in my life in terms of you know routine and structure and just having moved to a new house and the kids being out for summer. It was really great to fill that void where I wasn't working out. Would I suggest it to everybody? Absolutely. I mean, it's not too pricey to begin with. The challenge pack is obviously a little more pricey because you're getting Shakeology with it, but it's a good price for what you're getting if you are just trying to, I feel like I'm rambling. I'm saying the same thing over and over again, so we're just gonna call it what it is. We're gonna end this video, and I encourage you to go check out the link below in the description box so that you can read more about it and kind of make your decision from there if this is something you would wanna do or not. If you have any further questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. I would be more than happy to answer them. Again, you guys know I am fully transparent. My skin almost is fully transparent. You can almost see right through it. It's just who I am. I'm open, I'm honest about everything. So whatever you wanna ask, ask. I will give you a completely honest and rare, rare, raw answer. I hope this helps you guys making the, the decision to do or to not do this program. And if you enjoy these videos, please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know if there are any programs that you would like to hear more about or that you would like to see me do. And until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.